Yeah, okay, damn no. I'm saying as soon as he stops, yeah, we gotta, yeah, we gotta stop. You get one throw and move on? One throw and then... Look at them all. Yeah, wow. Oh. So many spinner dolphins. Some of that Geo stuff. All right, guys. So this morning we're chasing dolphins. Wow, they're everywhere, and we found them. They're all over, and we're chasing dolphins not because we want to catch dolphins. <laughs> they're coming right at them. But because we want to catch the big tuna, and the big tuna and the dolphins, the spinner dolphins, hunt together, and we got about a hundred dolphins on all sides of the boat right now. Oh, look. And when they're going fast like that, they're jumping. Look at that. It's because they are hunting. And I'm pretty sure they're- Oh! 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 Yeah! He's on! There it is. Oh, this drag is terrible. Oh! The drag. There we go. Oh! Oh, 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 look at, oh my! Those Holy, are too? those are giant ones! Oh, oh. wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Amigo! Pio, pio, pio! <laughs> <laughs> Me copia! <laughs> wow. Oh, look at them, dude! Yeah. So, like we were saying, we're looking for big dolphins for dolphins because they're with the big tuna, and the tuna, are here. Dakota's hooked up on the first one of the morning. Dude, look at this. This is insane. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. This is a weird fight. Oh. Yeah! Yeah, let's go! Yeah. Double love! Oh, oh no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, 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 Let's go! <laughs> it's working! Oh, P.O. Oh, Holy P. crap! <laughs> Dude, did you just see that? Yeah, it just came out the top, <laughs> across the surface. Oh, Yo, okay. We got a problem now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. Welcome it back to Panama. It worked. Back to Panama. Oh shit. You gotta go. Yep, yep, yep. Oh yeah, I see it. You got color? Yeah. Oh yeah, same. <laughs> Amigo, do you mind looking? Oh, do some way. See, you got some pella mia for Oh, dude, look at the dolphin back there. <laughs> Oh, nuts. I can't, okay. Mio, second, Mio. Ah. Yeah, three, no podemos. Three. Yeah. Difficult with three. A menos, ya estamos pegados. Amigo. Ahí estaban, huh? Sí, yo. There they were. Oh, dude, this is a big one. Yeah. This is a big one. Yeah. I'm trying. Uh, los dos he's, he's way over there. No, no, no. Ahí se van a cruzar. Ajá, así, así. Yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> there we go. Alright guys, mine's close. We're gonna try to get a gaff in this thing. Holy, that was nuts. As soon as those dolphins passed over us, it was boom boom. And uh, tripled up. Amigo! Oh! Amigo! <laughs> oh my god, it's huge! I know, amigo. No, no puedo. <laughs> Loco, amigo. Lo tienes. Yo puedo ir. Yo, we got that second gaff back there, too. <sighs> Cuidado con los anzuelos. Amigo! <laughs> Let's go! 
<risa> ¡Amigo! Oh, ¡Loco! ¡Loco! ¡Ya! Yeah. ¡Oh, Let's my go. God! Cuidado con el popper, ¿eh? Ah, las pinzas. Panamá's <laughs> loco. <laughs> Holy sh! That is a tuna, you guys. He was asking me how it was going home. I was like, oh, it's good, but the fishing's nothing like here. Yeah. 30 minutes into being back. Yeah, welcome back to Panama, bro. Jeez. Dude. Like that's a tank. So that is the that is the jam right there. Big poppers with strong big treble hooks. We learned the hard way that the single hooks do not work for these guys. You want trebles? And look at the result, man. That is a massive tuna. Holy Look. Grandote. Si, oh I mean yeah. Mo mucho más de triple, eh? You think that's hundred? No. Cien no. Oh, no. 60. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. He's saying maybe 80 pounds. <laughs> Amigos! Wow! Dude, are you kidding me? I can't believe how quickly you got that in. I'm a beast, bro. Be, I guess, yeah. <laughs> I'm a beast. I was just gonna say, I was like, damn, I don't like this popper. It's not really and good. And the bigger popper, the bigger the tuna. Uh huh, yeah. Dijiste. Tuna said, the bigger the popper, the bigger the douche, the bigger the tuna. <laughs> the bigger the douche, the bigger the tuna. Here we go, I got a big one. I don't know what that says about me, but. Wow, amigo, mira. Necesitamos un cooler más grande. Loco, wow. He ain't done. That's the problem, it's like, that guy won't fit in the cooler. No. Now we're back to this issue again. La que pegué también estaba grande. Yeah. Do you? Pero mejor. No, yeah, no. Tan difícil. Oh my god. Yeah. Creo que es mucho más pequeño también. You okay there, bro? No, 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 no. Wow. Wow, you get one photo. Wow, I mean, it's a tuna that's possible. You want to get some pictures while yeah. oh, it's still lit up? Well, I want to just get your damn show. Yeah, Who's yeah, going to take pictures? Oh, it's a Yeah, yeah. Ready? Listo? Listo. Si necesito un poco más arriba. El otro gafo. Other gaff, other gaff. Here, here, you want? I got that. Yeah, creo que es bueno. Now we're fishing. Phew! Look at that. On poppers. Giant tuna on top water. Are you kidding me? Hitting me. Oh my goodness. Okay. On the new Daiwa? Holy. Ah, yeah. oh, crazy, dude. Yeah, shaking, right? 
Guys, well, as I was explaining it, it happened, but we've been looking for these dolphins, the spinner dolphins, when they're moving fast this time of year, they're hunting with the tuna. And I just cannot believe how amazingly that just worked out. We got up in front of the dolphins, threw three poppers, boom, boom, boom. All three of us were hooked up. Pio basically like kind of shook his off because we need someone to gaff it. We can't all three in the boat be finding giant tunas are gonna get wrapped. We got no one to gaff any of them. So he kind of just shook his off. We stuck with the two. Mine's probably 80 pounds. I mean, but it's so far and away. Probably my new personal 60. best yellowfin. Yeah, just, yeah, probably 80 and a 60. Yeah, local. Wow. <laughs> you got I hurt my elbow a few weeks ago. I can't even lift mine up. Like, that is a big, big tuna. Whoo! Insane catch. I mean, doubled up to double up on these fish on top water. Nothing like it. That was insane. That was nuts. We're gonna be eating good tonight. Sashimi for days. Look at that. Whoo! <laughs> Oh, God, it's good enough. <laughs> no. Uh, hielo arriba. Belly meat, we don't care about it much. You don't, don't put it on its back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, not quite fitting in the coolers, guys. Not quite. We got the other one, we can't even get it started in the cooler. So we got it there with some ice on it and a couple NRS PFDs keeping it cool, keeping it out of the sun. But basically what that means is we're gonna have to cut our day short. So the tuna were running back towards home. We just drove two hours almost to get out to this spot. Boom, boom, we got more fish than we can keep fresh. So we're gonna start working back towards home already. See if we can't pick up one or two more tuna on the way in and then just go back real quick with 200 plus pounds of tuna. Start carving it up. We're gonna be feeding the neighbors, we're gonna be feeding ourselves, we're gonna be eating good tonight. Wow, holy, what a, what a morning. That was nuts. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. On the dot. 140 pounds of fish in the boat. Nine o'clock. Two casts. A lot of love in here. Woo! Los Buzos. Back up with the dolphins yeah. and try to pick up a couple more giant tuna on the way in. Dolphins everywhere. This is Animal Planet stuff. Oh, 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 they hit him right there. No oh my god, right next to the boat. I saw them. That was wild. Dude, there's three more underneath it. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. My. Oh! Pio, jig! Man. Jig! <laughs> Move it back on that boat! Oh. Wow! <laughs> that was nuts! And then right that at the boat. That was sick, oh. right at the boat. Gosh! Dude, Ooh. there was three giant ones I underneath saw. that. <laughs> that you guys see us, Pio? <laughs> God, and that's like that, they're gone, man. Crazy. I thought I was like a dolphin for some reason. Dude, I'm like, there's no too. way it's a tuna. You know it's a big fish when you mistake it for a dolphin at yeah. first. <laughs> That's when you know. He said, Fuero, mira que rapido. Okay, I guess we're going back over here. Sorry. 
Oh, that was nuts. And I looked down and I saw the other two right, right, right underneath it. Yeah. Oh, seriously. Wow. They bent it? Yeah. <laughs> Brand new gaff, it's already bent. All right, Dakota only hooked, the only one that hooked it up on that pass. Whoo, Dakota on another one. Couldn't see how big it was, but it hit right next to the boat. One of the more exciting takes I've ever seen. Giant tuna annihilating the popper two feet from the boat. We looked down, there were two more big ones right below it. These fish are nuts. It's a pretty wild, pretty interesting behavior. I mean, this is like, it's like an animal planet special right now. We're learning so much about the behavior of these, these fish and more, really more so these dolphins. I'm a big believer that these spinner dolphins follow the tuna. They're intelligent enough to know that these tuna are able to find and corral the bait. And so I'm pretty sure the dolphins follow the big tuna and they're eating, they're hunting the same food, the same baits. I, I just can't imagine that the tuna are smart enough to know to follow the dolphins. I think it goes the other way around. So basically, when you're trying to catch these big tuna this time of year, you're just looking for dolphins. And when you find the big pods of spinner dolphins that are moving fast, they have to be moving fast. If they're hunting, they're gonna be moving, jumping, they'll jump clean out of the air. They love going airborne. But once you find them, you better believe the tuna are at the front of the pack. So we run up with the boat in front of the big pod of, pod of tuna. Could you keep it down? I'm trying to explain something. <laughs> and uh, like clockwork, if you can get your popper out in front of those dolphins, a big tuna is gonna smash it. You're not gonna get it back to the boat. Pretty wild to watch. And now we've done two passes in front of these dolphins. We tripled up the first one, and right there, Dakota got a hit right next to the boat. And uh, by the time we, you know, then they're gone. They're moving fast, so it's like that. You gotta run up to the front, throw the popper, couple casts at most, and then hopefully you hook one, and now we're sitting here fighting it, and then we'll go find them again and get right back up in front of them. Uh, but these fish are so big, we don't have enough ice. So we're just gonna try to catch one or two more pretty quick and head home. It's gonna be the quickest day of fishing of all time. We're gonna come back with got 300 pounds of fish at this rate. It's wild. Got about 140 pounds in the boat right now. And another decent one on the line. Dakota's kind of huffing and puffing here. Dude, you good? It, this is real. Ah, oh, the real, eh? Broken. There you go. Nope. You get them to a certain height and then it's just oh, no, it's going you nowhere. You can't even see color. No. It feels like a dead weight. Yeah, they just do that kind of like death circle. They'll kind of just circle the, yeah. in there for hours. The pinwheel. It's a heavy fish. Yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. After this, I'm not touching anything but a camera. <laughs> My back is like gone already. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, what the? <laughs> Goes getting worked by this tuna. <laughs> getting worked. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There he is. Coming up. Dude, I don't even know how you would crank this in a kayak. If I wasn't standing up with this. Oh, oh, oh. 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 Are you tired, bro? I am exhausted. <laughs> I'm not even gonna act like I <laughs> I might as well handline this. Dakota. Oh. Getting warped. Maybe it is a big fish. I mean, it ain't a small fish. No. Of that, I'm certain. I thought it was like a 40. Ooh, we got color. She's coming up. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right, to go to. Getting her close. This has been a battle. Battle for the ages. 
and now here she is. Look at that, man. Whew. That's a big fish. Necesito mover. Ya lo sé. Necesito mover para yo ver. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's a good one, dude. Ahora por aquí. Ahora por aquí. That's a good one, bro. That's a good one. Amigo. Mira. Mira, una más. Una más. Yeah. Hey, bro. That's a fish. Second one of the day. Sorry that took so long. Nah, man. What do you mean, sorry? Yeah. Look at the thing. It's a big ass fish, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Hey, loco. Think 50? Yeah. Oh, he's. Whew, what a morning. Look at that. Third one in the boat. Dakota here. Huffing and puffing. Big time. On the popper. This new popper from Daiwo. Trying this guy out. Uh, I'd say it's working. <laughs> like a shaking like a. Yeah, look at him shaking. <laughs> 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 Come on, a tune. Come on, a tune. Shake it like a tuna, man. Vibrating. Oh, man. Can't oh. beat this. Look at that. Look at that color. Lit Just... up. Gosh, they're such pretty fish, man. They really are. Look at these. Yellowtail. You can see where they get the name. Oh, wow. What a fish. Oh, these yeah, are so fish. sick, too. Yeah. Uh, probably 50 pound fish, 50, 55, 60, 65. I mean, it's a big fish, big tuna on top water. Cannot beat oh, that, man. Close so, to 200 pounds and three fish. Oh, we got 200 pounds of fish, yeah. Those are the libras, the pesca. Those threes. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's good. Ah, ahora las ponemos las tres ahí. Cuidado. <laughs> That's how you know you're doing it right. Great whites are on their way. <laughs> crazy. What a crazy experience. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Uh. Look, they're all trying to hit it. Finally got it. Look, they're jumping over each other trying to catch it. There's more than one. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He's never too right underneath this bitch. Uh. Alright, I gotta put this away. Yeah, dude, you can gap this guy right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hurry, hurry, or he's gonna <laughs> that was the fastest fight of all time on a 30 pound fish. <laughs> You're done. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, they're still right here. Unreal experience, you guys. <laughs> Eso. Chris Moss? <laughs> Oh, yep, yeah. see, there they are, they're already hitting it. No way. <laughs> Dude, little th ones, huh? I thought it was a dolphin and it just happened to be Pio's popper getting hit. <laughs> I saw the tune under the water swiping at it. Oh! Yes. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh my god, there's 10 more with it, man. These are just the quote unquote little ones, but uh, look at them all fighting over it. Dude, there's two more down there. <sighs> oh, oh, and Pio's hooked up. Doubled up. 
Welcome to Los Buzos. Insane morning. It's as many as you want to catch, as long as you can stay in front of that dolphin school, pod, whatever. <sighs> Crazy. Ah, let's see that popper. Let me see it. We switched the hooks out for bigger hooks. It came with solo, single hooks. We much, much prefer the trebles for tuna specifically. It's getting it done. That's the Chug Norris from Nomad. I'll put down in the description a link to these two, these poppers we're using. They work great for everything from rooster fish, Gubera, snapper, Sierra mackerel, all the species of trevally we have here, and the tuna. Absolutely love them. I'll put some links down in the description. You guys want to pick up this tackle we're using? Tackle Direct. Big shipment came in right before we got here. We're putting it to use. Phew! <laughs> Trying to clean a little bit of the blood off the boat. All right, you guys, here's here's the problem. We, we could keep catching these tuna all day. Problem is we can't keep them cold. We gotta get back. We got like an hour drive. We got two and a half tuna on ice. We got seven tuna not on ice. So we gotta go. Uh, we, we gotta leave them biting, leave them ferociously biting because we just can't keep all this meat fresh for long enough. We were not prepared to have 400 pounds of fish by 10 a.m. Uh, it was not in our game plan, so that's it. We gonna, we gonna get back. Insane, just insane. We're gonna talk a little bit more about this dolphin tuna behavior. I just think it's so interesting. Back in the kitchen, which is where we will see you guys. We're gonna prepare up some sashimi. Well, I guess we'll probably see it at the fillet table. We're gonna cut these guys up. But we're gonna go, we're gonna have sashimi. We're gonna do tuna every way we can think of. It's gonna be good, yeah. Tuna 19 ways because we got 400 pounds of it and whatever we decide to do is gonna get old real quick so there's just tuna tails like sticking up everywhere yeah there's tuna hiding up under everything what a day amigo long huh? yeah yeah the big boys for today. Whew. That's 200 something pounds of tuna. Easy. That is a big fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pito's now we're on big boy. Oh that's a big hunk of meat. Shoo, grandote. This week, this whole week, actually. We got fish for days. Fresh tuna, as fresh as it gets. You guys, what an insane day of fishing. So, we got the fish cleaned up. There was a lot of it. We got ourselves cleaned up. Now it's time to enjoy the fruits of our labor. And I was thinking about how I wanted to show you guys the, to cook up these tuna. The obvious choices are sashimi, raw, seared tuna, pokey bowls. There's a lot of options, right, that are pretty common with tuna. First thing I'll say is that the more you cook tuna, the worse it gets, right? I mean, if you're, unless you're making tuna salad, never cook tuna all the way through. But I was thinking about what we could do that's a little more unique, a little more creative, and I started thinking about the fact that Los Buzos here, we have people working here from around the world. It's, it's quite the melting pot of cultures, of people. And our head chefs, Cesar and Cynthia, they are from Peru, they are Peruvian. And they make, that I know of about nine different types of ceviche, which is where you cook fish using lemon and lime juice, using the citric acid from juice to cook the fish without heat. They make a bunch of different kinds of ceviche, and there's one that really stands out in my mind that I've eaten over the last six weeks that they've been cooking for us, and that is, one that uses something called leche de tigre, tiger's milk. Tiger's milk. No tigers are actually harmed in the making of this recipe. 
but Tiger's Milk, Leche de Tigre, it is my favorite ceviche that they make. I asked them if they could make it with tuna. They said normally they use white meat fish, but they think it'll be good with tuna, and that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna show you guys a pretty cool way to prepare fish. If you want a dish that will impress your friends, that's not hard to make, it takes no cooking skills at all. It's literally just mixing ingredients, maybe a little bit of cutting ingredients. It's super simple, but it's super fresh, it's delicious. You can use it with just about any fish, freshwater or salt. I think you're gonna be in for a treat. I think you're really gonna like this. Leche de Tigre, guys. You can tell your friends you're gonna make them tiger's milk ceviche. It just sounds cool. Let's check this out. This is gonna be really good. I think it's gonna be really good. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Uh, uh, yeah, but I'm not gonna... So we've got lemons or limes or a combination of. We've got onion. They're using red onion. Culantro, or in English, cilantro. She's got a couple peppers here. I'm not exactly sure what kind of peppers. Salt, of course, it's in everything. This is fish stock that she made with the head of a snapper that I caught a few days ago. And garlic, pretty key ingredient in just about every dish that I like. She's gonna use some shrimp. Now that's just kind of part of her presentation. These are potatoes and sweet potatoes, but this is just gonna be for kind of the dish. It's not actually involved in the ceviche itself. The size does matter. She doesn't know what that means. She doesn't get that joke, but the biggest thing they're telling me is that it needs to be essentially like a cube. It needs to be kind of uniform size or it's not gonna cook evenly in this lime juice. And you're gonna end up with, you know, some of the fish is cooked, some of it's not, or some of it's overcooked. So she's gonna cut these into very similar sized pieces. Here we got canchitas, which is like just the best snack you've ever had in your whole life. We'll tell you more about that later. All right, so first step, we gotta cook the fish. So we got some salt, some garlic, and a bunch of lemon juice, lime juice, or kind of a combination. So since I'm sitting here saying that we do ceviche wrong in the United States, the real way to do it is you want that juice, that liquid to be so good that when you finish the fish, when you finish all the ingredients, you drink the juice. So she puts some onion, some garlic, some peppers into this juice and she's about to blend this and that will go on the fish. I did not understand why she was doing it separate, now I do. All right, so this is the lemon lime juice that she's using to cook this fish. This is not the leche de tigre. All right, we're gonna taste it before it's even cooking yet, yeah, really. This is like basically sashimi with some juice on it. Oh, que rico, como se. So now it's cooking, she's gonna put this in the fridge, cover it with some wrap, and let this thing do its do its thing. Let it cook in the fridge. Y cuanto, cuanto tiempo? Hasta que esta leche tigre ya. Ah, pasa. Ah, okay. She said by the time the leche de tigre is done, it's gonna be ready. It's not that long. She's putting cooked shrimp into this leche de tigre that she's gonna blend together. She's putting some more of the tuna. It starts with the same kind of base. Lemon, lime, juice. You can use a combination. There's salt. There's these red peppers. Celery, she says, is the key. She's got cilantro. She's got red onion. Garlic. Sí, mejor Fish stock. Fish stock. But the main ingredient is the fish stock. Oh. oh. Ice. All right, guys. So I just stepped outside because she's about to blend that up. Leche de tigre. Tiger's milk. What I did not understand about this, I've been eating it for a, six weeks, a month and a half. What I did not understand about tiger's milk until just now they were explaining it to me, he used the hand motion like this. It's like an aphrodisiac, I suppose. It's, it's for male, male strength, if you will. I'm not gonna elaborate more than that because we're on YouTube here. It is the leche de tigre, tiger's milk. The reason it's called that is because of that. And it's a combination of things. She's saying that the fish stock, cooking down the skeleton of the head of the fish gives you strength. She's saying that the, the shrimp or whatever, whatever mariscos, whatever seafood you have, which a lot of people will use, uh, like oysters, can be an aphrodisiac. She said that celery is a known aphrodisiac. I didn't know this, you know, a known thing that helps with blood flow and whatever else is involved in, in male strength. I don't know, but that is where the name came from. And I was in there and as she's explaining it to me, I was thinking, I kind of did one of these, well, what are we talking about here? You know, and there, there, again, the language barrier, 
I speak decent Spanish, but I started cracking up when I finally realized what she's talking about, the, the significance of the Leche de Tigre name. But it looks and smells delicious. She's chopping up shrimp in there that she's blending together for Leche de Tigre. Uh, yeah, just looks phenomenal. I'm not gonna lie, it looks amazing. And there it is, you guys. Leche de Tigre, tiger's milk. This is what makes this specific ceviche is so good. Official taste test. Oh, It's so good, you guys. So good. It's kind of foamy almost because she does it in the blender. It's got a little bit of fishy shrimp taste. The citrus is perfect. It's got a little bit of tanginess. You get the garlic that comes through. That stuff right there, y'all. You can put that on anything. Literally, salad dressing, pasta sauce. It, I mean, para ensalada o algo cualquier. Could be good on anything. Remember this recipe, guys. You want to impress your friends. Doesn't matter what you're cooking. Pour some of this somewhere on the dish. It doesn't even matter. That stuff is so damn good. Whew. Presentation. Well, I was wondering what they were, the shrimp was for, and she puts it in the leche de tigre, but, but also she said it was for the presentation, and now I get it. So in the bottom, she puts a little bit of red onion sliced real thin and some little tiny pieces of fish, and then she's pouring in the leche de tigre. Oh, this is the, this is the juice. This is the good stuff. Oh, en serio? Yeah. Hey. No lo entendí, amigo. <laughs> Once again, you guys, I just totally, totally did not understand. Now she's putting the canchitas, which are, this is a, some kind of special species of corn that when you pop it, it doesn't pop. It turns into this amazing, crispy, salty. These are, this is our snack every night at dinner. We eat this every single night. It's so good. So she's saying this is kind of the leche de tigre. This is a separate dish from the ceviche. I didn't even understand that until just now with a little shrimp as a garnish. Just look at this, look how beautiful this is. So she's adding some red onion to the ceviche. You guys, this is the challenge of being able to speak Spanish relatively well, but not being fluent. They just assume that I'm understanding everything they say because I speak it, I sound like I speak it pretty well. I did not understand that the ceviche is a separate dish than the Leche de Tigre. This is a, this is a whole separate deal right here. I thought this was all being combined at the end. It's not. We're gonna have ceviche, we're gonna have the leche de tigre, we got some potatoes going down. They were telling me that in the States, ceviche is an appetizer. It's like you get a little cup of it and that's the whole thing. In Peru, where they're from, ceviche is the whole dish. It's a whole meal, it's a whole lunch. And so you get all kind of all these things together. And there it is. Ceviche peruana. Peruvian ceviche right here. With some kind of cheap test, little bonus on the side. Talk about a finished product, you guys. About one of the most beautiful presentations I think I've ever seen. Amazing, right? Everyone, everyone loves these things. We're gonna go straight for the ceviche, we're gonna try this out. This is just the ceviche, not the leche de tigre. It's so good, their ceviche, because they blend it like that, it's almost like foamy, it's airy. It's like this really light, really nice texture. Now, let's try this leche de tigre, which I thought was all the same thing. It's not. We're gonna try this out. It's got a little bit of shrimp kind of pureed into it. It's got a little bit of fish, and then these canchitas, the corn. A little spoonful here. Let's try this right here. It's got such a strong, it's like a, it's like a punch in the mouth, honestly, in the best way possible. It's so good. It's got like a richness to it that I didn't expect after they pureed it together. It's, it's kind of foamy and airy as well. And it's got the shrimp and the fish to give it some, some body. And with the crunchiness of that corn, it's phenomenal. And same kind of thing, it's got little pieces of tuna in here. It's one of the best tasting things I've ever had, man. That leche de tigre, that juice, for lack of a better word, is so good. What a phenomenal meal. The two of them together, it's this light, fresh, just delicious meal. It's not gonna weigh you down. We're not gonna be ready for a CS after this. It's incredible.
You should try it. Dude. You should try yours. It's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Want to find us on This is Animal Planet. That was wild! Dude, there's three more underneath it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jake, Jake, come on. Oh,